generally speaking, what we're after in this series of courses on teaching computers is introducing people to a medium that not only has the ability to draw a picture, but the ability to capture time and capture a process and reenact that process. Artists are communicators, and artists communicate with whatever medium is relevant for their time. With the invention of new painting techniques, new mathematical methods of creating three-dimensional imagery on two-dimensional planes, the Renaissance artists were able to express much more of a message in their time using the state of their art. Perception is generally what an artist brings to any technology that he or she is dealing with, and an understanding of perception is greatly needed in computers in general. To date, a lot of the software was written by technical people, and an artist who understands who is going to be sitting in front of the computer is going to be able to write a much more usable, a much more functional program, and at the same time help communicate through that program the fact that this isn't a machine that's trying to take over. This is simply something another person created to help you. As an educator, I find that when trying to teach concepts of something that exists in the, the world that we have here, it's very easy to convey quickly by modeling it on a computer. A straight line is simply a series of interconnected points. On a computer screen, you can point that out quite easily because the screen is digitized and broken into tiny points. Color theory and color mixing is quite easy to illustrate quickly with a computer because you are able to turn any dot on or off and have that dot be any one color. Everyone in this department is sharing a feeling of being on the verge of discovering something that no one has ever discovered. And that feeling can drive one on for a long time, both as a teacher and as an artist. They are dream machines. And there's also a place for computer graphics in business. The computer graphics industry is literally going through an explosion. The marketplace is growing quite rapidly, about 40% per year. People are now just beginning to really understand the benefit of business graphics. And they're now at the point in time where they're figuring out how can I best implement this kind of information presentation techniques to benefit my company in some cost-effective manner. This is the HP 2700 series of high-performance color graphics terminals. There are two different types of things you can do. The first is various types of business charts. What I'd like to do is to load in a bar chart, the data of which I've entered on the disk previously. Now, it has automatically scaled this to suit the size of the data. If I want more flexibility, for instance, I'd like to see the same chart now done as a line chart, I can very easily move the cursor over to the line section, hit one key, and then plot it once again, and it will take the very same data and give me a line chart. In the same way, if I would like to see the chart done in a different way from the line, I could, for instance, select something like a pie chart. and get a key called color. And what this brings up is a palette of 16 colors. If I don't like the red in that section of the pie and I'd like to swap it with yellow, I can indicate that I'd like to swap two colors. And when I move down to the yellow then, hit the swap key once again and it substitutes yellow in for red. If I'd like to operate on the purple, I can do a number of things to change the color interactively. Here I have three keys called red, green, and blue. And what I can do is to operate on the red portion. And by spinning the thumb wheel, I can take red out of the picture. Or I can add more red all the way over, changes it to a pink. Now, if you're more of an artist and you understand hue, saturation, and lightness, you can look at changing colors in the very same way, just with a different type of device. If you decide to use the hue, it works very much running you through the spectrum. If you work on the saturation, well, it makes it more of a pastel look. You can see that it's that it's changing it a bit, or the lightness, if you take the lightness out, 
it will just make it a darker portion of the pie. The terminal has 4,096 colors, so you have a lot of flexibility in color. At Hewlett Packard, we are trying to make business graphics so useful and so easy to use that an individual ought to be able to walk up to a device and generate handsome looking bar charts and pie charts. And for that, you don't have to know how to be a programmer.